the first lady appeared to make a promise. Wait, this is this is for the Girl Scouts, um, and so if they have any further questions, I'd be glad to answer them, and then we'll get to you all. So long, I want to be your but despite that assurance, Thank that you. was it. Wonderful. After a Girl Scout song, Mrs. Clinton headed back to Washington, and the tougher questions of a special federal prosecutor. Now, what a, one other very interesting aspect to this uh, appearance today by Mrs. Clinton in, Hill, in uh, Lebanon, New Hampshire. The the invitation was actually issued a year ago. It was declined at that time, and it was resurrected late last week when the Girl Scout leaders here in Lebanon were told that Mrs. Clinton indeed would come and meet with them today, the day before her appearance before a federal grand jury. Certainly symbolically, it would seem to give the impression that Hillary Clinton, rather than preparing in the White House for the questions of the special federal prosecutor, she would be rather be here in New Hampshire, but also would seem to project a, a supreme confidence that she can handle whatever questions are asked in the grand jury tomorrow. Dan Ray live in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Back to you, Jack Williams in Manchester. Uh, Dan, with all of those uh, people uh, surrounding the First Lady today, did you hear anything negative from people, or was it all a love fest today? Well, it was, it was a love fest. It was a very small love fest. It's a junior high school here in Lebanon. Lebanon is a town of about 12,000 people halfway up the state of New Hampshire on the Vermont border. This is sort of Clinton country, if there is any Clinton country in New Hampshire. The president carried New Hampshire in 1992, I'm told. He did pretty well here in the Lebanon area. There were a number of supporters outside, as you saw on the videotape. The group inside were all very deferential and very supportive of the First Lady. There was no effort at counter-demonstrations by any uh, Republican groups or by any of the Republican presidential candidates or their supporters. All right, Dan, in Lebanon. Coming up on a short while... House, Mrs. Clinton highlighted the President's State of the Union address but steered clear of her grand jury testimony tomorrow. 7 News political reporter Andy Hiller has this story. I was a brownie. The First Lady's one-day trip to New Hampshire ended this afternoon in Lebanon, where she met with a group of Girl Scouts. The troop's leader had written a letter saying a visit, quote, would be an experience of a lifetime for these girls. The First Lady's first event of the day was a speech at Keene State College, where she was warmly welcomed by 600 supporters. She didn't say a single word about her grand jury appearance tomorrow regarding her role in Whitewater, but she had to know that back in Washington, Whitewater continues to simmer as Senate hearings continued. The First Lady's speech in Keene mirrored her husband's State of the Union delivered two days ago to much acclaim. Today, she repeated his seven challenges, including economic security, which she linked to health care. We must protect Medicare and Medicaid. They are the safety nets for millions and millions of Americans. Everyone here, of course, knows the First Lady will be going before a grand jury tomorrow. But if the reactions here are any indication, the First Lady has nothing to worry about. I think this is all stuff stirred up so that people don't have to pay attention to the real issues. I think it's great for her to stand up and uh, fight against everyone who's pushing against her. Compared to what Reagan got, two million bucks for having lunch with the Japanese, what Hillary has done is moved paper clips from one place to another. But on the streets of Keene, there is much less support for the First Lady. I don't believe her. I tend not to believe any politician or a wife of a politician. There probably is some degree of a cover-up there. No, I do not feel she's been up front. The whole bit with finding all the information on her coffee table in her private quarters. Courtesy of... Watching Hillary Clinton today, it's easy to see why she has become a lightning rod. She has a political personality independent of her husband's. She inspires and inflames on her own. And barring unexpected grand jury action, she'll continue to be a political force because objectively, she is an asset for President Clinton. I'm Andy Hiller, 7 News. Attorney General Scott Harsh. Hours from now, First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton will be appearing before a grand jury investigating Whitewater. But today she was in friendly territory as she made her way from college students to the Girl Scouts on the campaign trail in New Hampshire. News Center 5 political reporter Kirby Perkins spent the day with Mrs. Clinton. He joins us now live from New London, New Hampshire. Good evening, Kirby. Good evening, Heather. That, of course, that subpoena that's been issued for the First Lady, her appearance in front of her grand jury, that's the first time that has ever happened to a First Lady who is uh, still in the White House. So it is absolutely unprecedented. But traveling around with her in New Hampshire today, if that's bothering her, if it is of concern to her, publicly at least, she's not showing it. These junior high students know what's going on. 
Thank you. Good luck, Hillary. Good luck. One of them clearly yelled, good luck tomorrow. Inside, she was honored by a Girl Scout troop that considers her an excellent female role model. They asked her about life in the White House. So most days, it's, it's very exciting and very rewarding. But you also lose a lot of your privacy. Hillary Rodman Clinton. Earlier today at Keene State College, the First Lady was greeted warmly by a crowd that happily provided a supportive environment in which Mrs. Clinton could project herself as her husband's co-campaigner, unworried 24 hours before grand jury testimony. We cannot let anyone turn the clock back on environmental protection. That is one of the critical issues. Her speech was quite literally a repeat of her husband's State of the Union address. As she worked the crowd briefly, she heard exclusively encouraging words, but away from here, others are more displeased. It would be helpful to have a uh, reputable, uh, more ethical first lady. Does it raise it, questions in your mind? Uh, it raises some questions, of course, but, but I, you know, we see this over and over again with all kinds of people in, in the public eye that mm -hmm. we're always looking for something to, to mm -hmm. ask questions about. Mm -hmm. The questions will be asked of her tomorrow in front of that ju grand jury. Questions like, how come those billing records from the Rose Law Firm that had been under subpoena for two years suddenly appeared in the family quarters of the White House? But that's tomorrow. Today, Ms. Clinton certainly had an enjoyable day in New Hampshire. Live from New London, Kermit Records, New Center 5.